everybody oh q a you guys love these you don't love them that much but some of you like them a little bit and that's what counts uh today kelsey says split jerks i just don't get them you're in good company kelsey uh, I'm having trouble fixing the timing of my back foot in the split jerk or figuring out the cause to why the timing is so off. I've improved my dip and drive, could still be more aggressive, but it's work in progress. But my back foot is visibly slower and higher than my front foot. I often have to chase the bar or miss the jerk out front. Yeah, this is super common. So what you have to keep in mind is that in a split jerk, in a properly performed split jerk, that back foot will and does lift before the front foot and start moving before the front foot. That's normal. So don't freak out about that and try to change that because you'll completely destroy everything. But the mistake people make is usually kind of twofold. Number one, they'll focus on that back foot, which you shouldn't really have to at all. The back foot will largely take care of itself, um, at least in terms of the distance that it travels, right? It, it's I've never gotten a question from someone that is, I can't get my back foot far enough back in the split jerk, right? You've never met that person either because they don't really exist. Um, the problem is always not getting the front foot far enough. And the second part of that is, in addition to focusing on the back foot when it's unnecessary, people tend to overreach the back foot, right? They When they think about a long split, they end up trying to, to achieve that length by reaching the back foot super far. And when you reach the back foot really far, uh, because it's moving first and because of the way you're doing that, that front foot's going to hit first. That means that that back foot travels too far. It pulls the hips backward with it. So if the bar is even where it needs to be, but the back foot pulls the hips back, in effect, you've pushed the bar forward even if you haven't, right? Because the bar is now in front of your base, your front foot has uh, stepped short and now everything's too far forward and then you end up with that chasing situation. So the point of all that is one of the quickest ways to try to resolve that is rather than uh, thinking about reaching the back foot back, actually imagine pushing the back foot down. And I know that sounds weird because the foot does have to go back uh, you know, a considerable distance, but like I said, it'll go back. So if you're thinking about pushing down, um, it, it will more than likely contact at a, a better distance and it will allow you to keep that foot as close to the floor as possible. You almost want to slide the back foot back rather than lifting and planting like you do with the front foot. Uh, and so by getting that back foot, not so far back, not elevating so much, that means that you're going to get that thing planted and be able to put weight on it sooner while your front foot is still kind of reaching or settling, which means that you're able to push off that back leg to keep the hips under the bar and allow that front foot to continue moving far enough forward, right? Uh, so there's your conceptual uh, cue. Uh, to actually practice and kind of get a feel for that motion, I really like jerk balances. So you're gonna basically walk yourself out into your full split length with the bar in the, the jerk rack position, then step back about a foot length, maybe a foot length and a half, and that's your starting position. So like a two thirds length split. Uh, you're gonna dip uh, straight down, you're gonna drive straight up, and then keeping your back foot planted, you're gonna lift and reach the front foot into your full split as you punch the bar out into lockout, right? So in other words, we're really exaggerating this idea of having that back foot down and planted first while the front foot and hip is still reaching into position. So obviously in an actual jerk, we don't want them staggered that much. Um, but again, it's a drill, it's an exercise, it's not a replication of reality, okay? So I would do that, and then I would work on um, either a split jerk behind the neck from split or push jerk behind the neck in split. So the same exercise, except that in the push jerk version, the feet stay planted on the floor the whole time, and in the split jerk version, both feet lift and both feet come back down. And so both of those are really good exercises for a for building strength um, in the proper 50-50 balance between the two feet and building comfort there so that you're more naturally able to get there. And then one final thing with the uh, 
when you're doing that exercise, or excuse me, those exercises, the jerk balance, and then any split jerk, um, you can also uh, check yourself from, you know, intentionally leaning your head and chest too far through the bar, and especially too soon, right? That That final head and chest forward position really shouldn't happen until that back foot is planted on the floor again. If it's happening while both feet are in the air, that's contributing to that pull backward of the hips with that excessive backward reach of the foot. Because uh, if your head and chest go forward, your hips go backward in reaction, right? Uh, so let that position be the product of attempting to push the bar back into the proper overhead position over the back of the neck rather than you making it an intentional goal in and of itself to push forward. Makes sense? So focus on keeping the chest back during the dip, drive, and split. Uh, and again, that doesn't mean you're going to stay behind the bar when it's overhead. It just means that during that split, you are actively trying to stay more vertical rather than leaning too far forward. Good luck, Kelsey. Greg Evan with Catalyst Athletics here. Please like and share this video. If you appreciate the content, please subscribe to the channel. The more feedback I get from you guys, the more support I get from you guys, the more free content I can keep making. Thank you.